So um, on your assignment, I'll go over here to second period. Uh, for number 32, we're going to see a doc from yesterday, which has the chart. And then today we're also going to be clicking on the image instructions because most of you will be ready for column C soon. And when you open that up, it says what to do for column C and just follow them step by step. Mm -hmm. Number one is, first of all, making sure that your sentences on your chart are high quality and provide details. Um, after your sentences have been checked over for spelling and grammar errors, you can go on to two. For column C, you're going to be drawing the achievements um, in the place of your choice. We'll talk about that in a second. But you want your drawings to be high quality. You want them to look like you've spent time on them and that you have also tried to make them accurate with images you've seen on the internet of them. So we want them to look as historically accurate as possible. Step number three, after we draw each of the achievements, we're going to copy and paste them over to column C and make them fit in that little box, which means, yes, they'll be kind of small, but we can make them bigger later when we need to. And then number four gives you the options of places that you can go to draw them. So you can either search for Google Drawings on your Chromebook to use that, or I've got a link here that may take you, it may work, may not, we'll try it. Um, you also can try these three websites, Sketchpad, Voxel Builder, and Draw Island. I've got them linked here for you, you just click on them. Before getting too far into it though, you want to practice copying and pasting an image, a practice image, over to the little box on column C, because I'm not sure um, how well a couple of these do with copying and pasting an image over. I'm wanting you to see if you can make that work. So anyway, you just copy and paste the images you draw of each of the achievements over to the correct boxes.